Hello everyone, and once again, welcome back to Darkfall Ghost Vigil. Now, because I let the boy win Snakes and Ladders, he allowed me to move his picture, and I managed to open this door and find a staircase that leads to... Let's find out. Ah, I expect this is probably the boy's dormitories. Can I please get that confirmed on my tablet? Boys dormitory, there you go. And also, I didn't actually listen about the attic too, so let's do that now. Attic rooms, the smallest rooms, are the staff rooms. Nothing changed at Harwood House in that respect. Once the servants slept a few hours between service in these pokey rooms, were the nurses ever aware of any ghosts from the past? In many respects, the nurses lived their lives not dissimilar to the children in their care. Working under the ever-watchful eye of Matron would have instilled a particular type of fear. Perhaps these rooms were an escape, but the atmosphere suggests otherwise. That was the room that I accessed using the drone, I believe. Anyway, the boys' dormitory. Boys' dormitory. The last young residents probably spent as little time as possible in this cold, stark space. Clanks, bangs and whispered voices have been heard. There is a thick, foreboding atmosphere in this room, with some operators reporting hallucinations and blackouts. Oh, wonderful. Something to look forward to. Always nice. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, let's have a little look around, shall we? So, what have we got to the right? Escape? No, not for me. Mm, some bugs over there. Don't really want to go downstairs quite yet. Uh, let's see. Let's go this way. Fireplace? No. Nothing too exciting about this one. No, okay. Uh, what's that? There's something on the bed. Survive the flesh eaters of Horror Manor. Oh my god. Andrew Garner, okay. Sure. Just gonna leave that there, am I? Okay. Um, fair enough. What's all this? Right. Le Lenny's egg. <laughs> Alright. Sure. There you go, Jade. There's your shout out. What was that? Can I have a look at it? LG DC KT WHNDPC. I see ND and I think Nigel Danvers, am I right? Uh, books are the key. Don't talk about our code out loud. It will hear you, it will know. And no girls. We just got holes in the paper here. Okay. Books are the key. Books like Lenny's Egg? I guess. Right. Nightman. Oh, Nightmare Man sightings. Right, okay. Here. Do you mean here as in here audio-wise or just here in general? Well, I don't actually hear anything. Oh, here we go. One oldest activity. Six most recent. Where did the Dark Fall originate? Where did it start? Um, don't really know, but I guess based on that and this. Oh, I got you. Okay. I see. So, oldest activity, six to the most recent. I would assume then. Most recent is probably the dorm. So if I put the six there. Can they all be six? <laughs> Maybe. There's a lot of old sightings there. So I'm expecting that's probably one. Um, bathroom then main hall, maybe? And then... That can be number four. That could be five. Is that not right? Hmm. What if... I don't know, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll come back to this. Maybe I just don't have enough information quite yet. Maybe I just need to fiddle around with it a little bit more. Over here, then. 
back towards this bed. I thought I could do something. Oh, I can walk towards it. Oh, okay. Um. All right. Cypods, the Great Pyramids, nice. Now a thrilling TV series, what's this? This place wasn't always Shangri-La, it was Harwood House. The bedtime story is true. We have a recording of the Darkfall. Just sound, a weird noise. The cassette tape is hidden nearby in a place watched by many. The code is secret and can only be worked out by us, the boys. We do not speak about it in case it hears. Daz has made a guide in case any forget. Don't say the code out loud, ever. Apparently the code changes every laundry day. Right. That's this code, I assume. Fair enough. The horror oh, no, of wait, Harwood wait. House. The horror of Harwood House. There is an old house north of Oxford where no one dares to tread. It is said that a terrible darkness lingers there, and the whispers of the dead. No birds sing, no animals roam, for all were killed long, long ago. A pact was made with the devil by a foolish and greedy man. Eternal life shall be mine, no matter what the cost. My wife, my son, and five damn souls, all born to join the lost. And so the old man wanders still, the halls and rooms of Harwood, waiting, watching, for more to come, and join him in his... Nigel, are you feeling okay? Fair enough. Okay, well that's that's a storyteller tape. There's loads of them around here, but that was the only one I can actually use. However, I'm wondering if I could use this piece of Haddon tech to play some of the tapes that I've already got. So there's one there. I think I got... Uh, it was really early on. Right, number one. Yes, Nightmare Man 84, I think this is called. Yes, it works! My name... Yeah, alright. My name is Darren. Darren Coles. DC? These tapes are... Shut up, Nigel. Yeah, shut up, Nigel. <laughs> These tapes... The recordings are our evidence. People will have to listen if we've got proof. Will someone shut him up? Shut up and listen. It's out there. Other side of the door. Shh, listen. Get tank, quiet. Turn that thing off. That's the end of the tape. We're not going to check the other side or anything? Okay, well, uh, sure, that's number one. Let's plug in number two. Ollie was right. He said Edgar gave him the key to the pantry. It's like Edgar wanted him to choke. Can they do that? Can they tempt us to our own deaths? Well, here's what we heard on the radio last night. But what happened next? Did you get lured? Did you go to the door? Did you bring sweets? We don't have a number three, do we? No. Maybe there is one. Maybe I can find it. Maybe it's one of these tapes. Or maybe it's not. But that's pretty cool, actually. So this is where I have to come to listen to those tapes. Fair enough. All right. Samphire and Steed? What the hell? Wait, Saxton? Oh, Nigel Danvers! What can I do with this? Uh, listen? I mean, I can already hear this thing, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, what if we use this? No? I don't suppose I could... No, getting an error. Strange readings?
I, well, I, I can do something with it. I guess it's not the ghost hunting equipment because nothing seems to be working. I just, I seem to get it out and then just put it away. Right, let's, uh, let's get rid of that, shall we? Nightmare man drawing down there. I can't actually take that. Okay, put that down. There it is. Yeah, Nigel Danvers. I guess this was, uh, this was his bed. Fair enough. Uh, okay. That's just that again, isn't it? Okay, yeah. Let's turn around then. Let's just, you know what, let's just take a look at this again, because the... Are these... Are these bed patterns? Like, do they cover patterns? I've seen a couple of them now. That one in the top left. ND, I think, actually is Nigel Danvers, isn't it? Is there a book per bed? Is that how it works? What's this? Butlin's Barry Island, oh my god. Wow. Nanny? Yeah, okay. Oh. Well this is the radio, is it? Maybe I can tune maybe I can tune into the same station that the boys did. Five Ness. Mm, then again, maybe not. Maybe I'll come back to it later. Just like that puzzle on the wall. Noon dial. Right. Okay. Yeah, these these patterns. These patterns I've seen before. All of them, I think. Or, or most of them. Let's go this way. Okay. Ooh. Is that a gap in the... Uh, well, it is, but I can't do anything with it. Is that the Nightmare Man? Is that the Nightmare Man? Neat little felt tip drawing there. A couple of toys, but that's all we find in that cot in the crib. Oh. Can't actually go towards that door, but I, I suppose that's the one that's locked, isn't it? Hey, another one of these. Victoria Crane, an orphan, suffers hay fever, has night terrors. Speaks of a dark figure. Right. Well, they all do, don't they, at this point? What's this? Oh? Saxton Shaw, Grindle's Claw, my Celtic Corner. Oh, th maybe this is what I needed to use on Nigel Danvers' drawing of Saxton. I just need to match them up. Right. Um, you know what? It's been so long since I played The Lost Crown that I probably couldn't point out all the places. <laughs> maybe what I'll do in between videos is watch my playthrough back and uh, I'll see if I can maybe find out where I need to put these. Right, so there's no book this time, but there's no like extravagant duvet cover with some notable pattern. What's this? Alright, here. Yeah. Here, let's see. Um, is it going to be an audio thing? No. Books and patterns reveal the code. This thing. Right, oh, it goes over the numbers? I get you, I get you. So... We just need to put these in the order of L, G, D, C, K, T, W, H, N, D, and P, C. I think they're the boys' names. But the books are the key. Okay, this is this is pretty complex, honestly. Uh, I'll come back to this, I guess. I think that's just the same screen, isn't it? Yeah. Um, Backing away then, so we can't go to the door, we got that. There's that puzzle over there which I should take another look at, I think. Um, okay, Nigel, Dan Nigel Danvers, that's the obvious one. The others I'm not so sure about. Didn't I find something a long time ago? Did I bring it with me, or was it... 
Oh, I think I just saw it actually. There was a list. Was it this? Ah, yes, okay. Noondial. Nanny. Lenny's egg. So, yes, 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 I see, I see. Noondial. D. Coles. DC. Nanny. L. Green. LG. Lenny's egg. I saw that. P. O. Cork. Would that be P. O. C. or P. C.? Right. Okay, so I need to match up the books with the duvet covers, and then the duvet covers give me the number, and then I need to work out in which order the names are, and then put that in. Jesus Christ! Uh, yeah, alright, so give me a sec. I'm d I need to find these books, and I need to look at all these patterns. Okay, so that one... Nan yeah, Nanny. So that is... L Green. L Green. And L Green had that sort of pattern on their bed. Okay. Okay, so Noondial has that sort of pattern, right? Yeah, I get it, I get it. Alright, so here we are. We're starting off with LG, Mr. Green, who was apparently reading that Nanny book. And that was on... The duvet that looks like eight, I believe. So let's choose eight first. I think DC. That'll be that one. That was noon dial. Uh, KT. Let's see. This one. WH. Look like that one to me. ND. Nigel Danvers. That'll be number one, I believe. Correct. And then PC. Well, it's got to be this one, isn't it? Right. Okay. Wow. Okay, that took some doing, but we got there. We got there. Uh, so, what do we got? Top secret. Ooh. Ooh, right. Nightmare Man 84, number three. There you go. So it does exist. Oh, Graham Sunes is protecting the book. I like it. We have a plan. Record all and every one of the sightings. Noises, whispers, shadow people, and them. The family. Patrick is keeping score. The symbol is protection. The eyes are ever watching. It stops the Darkfall from seeing within. We hide our secrets well and don't speak of the code. It would know. Mr. Harding made the symbol. He made it out of expensive metals and our 2p coins. He needed it for a purpose. A key for lock, he said. The activity seems to be moving, coming closer from below. Mr. Harding found something beyond the pink door. It all started then, and now he's dead. Ollie's dead too. Who's next? There's only one way to prove that the ghosts exist. With evidence. The cassette tapes are the best we have. There's a message there, a sound. We could go to the papers, get all this sorted out, but we're also worried. This is our home. It's not perfect, but it's home nonetheless. It's been good to us. We don't want it to end. We might never see each other again. Nigel has had another dream. The same place again. The town in the fog. White houses around a harbour. Somewhere near the sea. He's only a kid, but he described the place in loads of detail, like he'd been there before. <laughs> All the place names, I've written them down. Then I realised, it's the place in the painting. Miss Prem, our nurse, is dead. She was nice. This is the end for our home. The people have come. Strangers from Oxford. They've come to take us away forever. The girls had a plan. We were too late. We should have worked together. They were going to trick the Darkfall with a doll. Reshma called it an effigy. Uh, maybe it's not too late. Yeah, maybe it's not too late. Well, I do have that doll, and I've got some of the bits to put on the doll, but we need to get into the nursery to do that, I think. And that's the end of the book. Okay, well, yeah. Boys, girls, we need to work together, you know? All right. Oh, yeah, it mentioned two pee pieces, so I'm bringing them with me. Okay. They're just perfectly normal 2P pieces, right? For now. Uh, nope, don't want to read that again, really. Got ya. That's it? I guess that's it. Well, uh, right, well, I, I'm definitely gonna have to back away. No, 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 the opposite of that. Back away. And I'm gonna need to listen to Nightmare Man 84, number three, on this little cassette, so... There's a sound. Like a word. No, uh, more like a 
song? Oh, yeah? What? Uh, yeah, more like a chant, says Patrick. It's like a spell, like magic. And we call it on tape by the stairs. Ready? Right, here we go. Oh, another one of these. Am I gonna record it? Yeah. What is that? I assume, much like before, that's not gonna be something I can analyze. No, no, it's not. Yeah, just like the one in the piano. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really know what to do with them quite yet, but that's pretty cool. Okay, um... Let's see. What else? What else? I guess I could sort that out. What about... There was the, uh, there was the puzzle over here on the wall. Let's move over there. Yeah, the Nightmare Man sightings. Yeah. Oh, okay, is this like reset my progress? Um, let me fiddle around with this and see if I can get the right combination. Maybe that's two. And then that's three. Hey, anyone? Maybe, yeah. Yeah, all evidence suggests the kitchen is where it all started. Are you spying on me again, Jen? Uh, repeat, did you say the kitchens? Yeah, our newbie has made a breakthrough. Uh, yeah, go on. Ben here. Yeah, the kitchen is the oldest part of the house. Oh, yeah? Yeah, say again. Over. See, it fucking is, mate. Bear's right. The kitchen was built in the old foundation. Right, hey, I'm going there now. Any ideas? It's blocked up, but you, you might find access from outside. Hmm. It's your breakthrough, Luby. You check it out. Can I? Can I check it out? It's accessible from outside, you say. Uh, well, oh, yeah. Sure. Uh, I, I guess we could do that now. Yeah, I think what I'll do is I, I will actually look at my old videos and I'll see if I can maybe find out exactly where some of these places are, then I can put them on the, on the map. For now, I'm kind of curious about exploring a new area. Hi, anyone? Come in. Is that bear? Go ahead. Is, um... Anyone inside the greenhouse? Ooh. Copy anyone by the greenhouse. Jen? Newbie? No. I said in the greenhouse. Ah. Say again. There's someone in the old greenhouse. But we deadlocked the door with a keypad. Yeah, but I can see a light. Someone's in there. Police? Security? Unlikely. He did definitely get full permission to be here, yeah? I don't think he did. Uh, to use the house? Uh-huh. Negative. <laughs> no permission. So no one knows we are here. Yes, that's the situation. Oh, for f f oh, fuck oh, sake, Steve. Pretty much, yeah. I'm gonna take a look. Uh, s stay out of sight. Find out who it is. Piss off. Okay. The greenhouse. Someone in the greenhouse, potentially? Intriguing. Well, I mean, let's... Let's take a look ourselves. It's just right outside, isn't it? It... Oh, yep, okay. Alright, so... Well, the door's not... It's not a jar. Can I get in? Don't know what the code is. Guys, can you give me the code? Then I could maybe help. Or maybe I'm not meant to go in there quite yet. Uh, okay, alright. I kind of want to give the drone a spin again, to be honest. I need I need to find that key, ideally, so I can get into the, uh, into the showroom properly and have a little play around with the things in there, like the PC. Also, if we take a look at the map... Uh, da -da -da -da. Here, yeah. Okay, so we've been pretty much everywhere but the sort of uh, northwest bit. Um, 
there is this store that I don't even, like, see access to. That's apparently in the hallway right ahead of us. And there's something going on with the painting, I think, over here. Yeah, because we can take a good look at it. It's not saying here. Yeah. There's nothing that I can press on, but I wonder if this is like a secret door. Or maybe the map is just wrong. Maybe there is no storeroom. You know? Maybe this is it. It's just that sort of alcove to the to the left side. Um what else was I going to do? Right, yeah, maybe if I go through... Hey, guys, check in. Check in. Why? Yeah, uh, what's up? Yeah, I'm not getting anything from Ben. No? Okay, hang on. Bear, come in. Can you check in, Bear? Uh, Jen? Yeah? It's probably batteries. Yeah, but Bear's in charge of batteries. He's, you know. Totally anal about it, I know. Uh, yeah, I'll check on him. Where was he last? Uh, the greenhouse, out by the woods. The greenhouse? It's unsafe. <laughs> Can someone go check on Bear? Is Over, it be me? I'm stuck in the canteen. <laughs> You're always stuck somewhere. I've explored the majority of this place. I haven't seen one of you yet. Um... Yeah, I mean, I guess I could. Yeah, let's go this way. I, I was gonna maybe go and try some items on the, uh, on the board on the toilet, but I guess we can go back through here and out to the greenhouse, which is apparently out by the woods. <laughs> Not really, but... Oh. What's this? Oh, is it? Yes, it's, it's gonna be the code. 7942. Fantastic. Okay, 7942. I don't know who exactly sent me that. I think it was Bear last time. Hello, uh, yeah. Just a quick question. What the fuck do you want to know now? Have you tried leaving? Down by the road? Try it. I think we're in a lot of trouble. And we've got to find the others. Ah, okay. Well, to be honest, Steve, I have thought about it many times, after every single fucking interruption, but okay. Let's see what he's talking about, shall we? Can we do something with this? No, I guess not. Uh, yeah. No, I haven't actually tried leaving, just thought about it, so... Let's have a look, shall we? It's been a while since I've been out here. Huh. Yeah, it's no good. I tried. One step forward, one step back. We're trapped. And I have no fucking idea what's going on. <laughs> Perfect. Have you tried maybe sidestepping your way through? Just a thought. Okay, so we're trapped. Fair enough. That's one way to keep us here. Anyway. 7942. Let's get to that greenhouse. Let's see if we can maybe help Bear. We could be in trouble. Also, while I'm out here, uh, I just want to remind everyone about the symbol that I found here. When we were flying the drone last time, we were looking at the tops of uh, all the windows. A couple of them were missing, or they were, I don't know, the engravings were smudged or ruined. I guess this is one of them. I don't know which number this is going to be, but... Yeah. Right. So, let's see. 7942, I believe. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay. I guess it self-locks as well, or, or Bear just wanted to lock himself in. So the greenhouse. Right, yes. Let's forget about our friend. Tell me about the garden room. Garden room. It is likely to have been a conservatory or garden room. Beyond the dense woods of Wolfenden creep ever closer to the old building. Ghost Watch believe this space has a strong link to the past. Okay. Well, let's find out if that's true, I guess. What are we going to find here? Hopefully Bear. It would be quite nice to actually see some of my new colleagues. Um, 
First impressions are there's not here. But uh yeah, okay. Something over here? Alright. Ooh, maybe there's something down here. Can I go digging? Have I got like a a tool? I've got, well not this. No. Ah, maybe I could actually plant this. Is that maybe there's potash around here? There's a thought. Anyway, uh, yeah, I don't know what I'd use with that yet. Got so many items, I really need to get rid of them. Like, specifically all these cards. Maybe I should go have a look at that notice board again. Maybe when I've got them all, I can just place them there and get them out of my inventory. Same thing. Same thing. What about the other side? That is number one. Right, yeah, so... We can have a look at all these. Hmm. Do I need to take one? I don't have any clippers or a knife or anything sharp like that. I mean, well, I've, I've got clippers, just <laughs> not not the secateurs, let's say. I don't know. Yeah, I, let's just have a little look around. I'm meant to be reporting back into the team, right? On Bear's whereabouts. Nah. Uh, did he just straight up disappear? What have we got here? This tablet. What's this? Oh? Oh, I got you. Okay, uh, orbs. Something a little bit more. Oh, wow. Golden star. What the hell? That was the last photo it took before it fell to the ground. Okay, alright. Can we do anything? Like, maybe with the other photos, we can't actually manipulate it in any way, change the settings. Okay. <laughs> Got a cassette. Certainly someone there. Right. You can't take his little ghost box thing or anything. Okay, sure. Now, now. Quiet and down. Patrick, do you want me to call Matron? Hmm? The fuck is going on? Oh, wow. Or not. So settle down. It's horticulture today. Seeds, soil, and growing things. Fun, fun, and more fun. Pick up an exercise book with today's task. And get to work. Instructions are on the board. Now, leave me to my thoughts. Okay. Will do. There's six over there. Again, yeah, it looks like I could do something with the flower beds that are numbered. What, the board? I mentioned the board. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, listen. Oh, yeah. Okay, so let's analyze that. But we got to back away to do that for some fucking reason. Here we are. Schoolwork. <laughs> Finish the task they failed. Okay. Will do, teacher. Will do. Is that Mr. Harding? Maybe it is. Finish the task they failed. And what task was that? Precisely what? There's more? There's Okay, there's more. Does this work out here? No, god damn it. Okay. Take the test tubes and exercise book, collect soil samples, conduct pH test in the science lab. Ah, oh, that's what it's for. Mark your findings in the exercise book, return your book to me for marking. Stage two will follow. There's more. Okay. Oh, look at this. 
Wait, what does that say on the front? Poetry. Tom yeah, Thomas Harding poetry. Apparently it's private, but not anymore. Roses, music, and a, a band of silver to adorn her finger, I think. Uh, okay, I'm just sort of skimming this. A lot of it is sort of worn away. Not this bit, though. Potash, dry ash from a fire. Good to know. And uh, pH levels of local soil types. Sure. Well, I, I got like the the testing kit back here. Yeah, those two, and maybe the bowl as well. So I guess we'll be doing that soon enough. So that's that. Um, right. Okay, we're actually doing this, aren't we? We're finishing the task. They failed. So, I take a sample from bed one and put in test tube number one, and then two in test tube two, I assume. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, I, I saw a couple of these in the dumpster, actually. Maybe I could check them and cheat. <laughs> right. Ah, I got you. Okay. Oh yeah, why not? Why the hell not? Alright, well, um... Let's back away. We need to collect some samples, then we need to do some tests, don't we? So, what else have we got? We got four and five over here as well. Okay, uh, well let's let's start off with one, I guess. So, I need to use this with this? Yes! Okay, so I got one. And now I got two. There's a third. Uh, I think, what was it? Four and... Four, five, and six are on the other side. Certainly seems that way. So... There we are. And just one more sample to have a look at, I suppose. Okay. Uh... Great. I did see that I could use them again. Maybe if I ruin them in the test, I can collect more samples. I hope that's not going to be a thing, but... What's this? Something down here? I'm kind of curious. I really should be using, like, my video camera more, I think. But whenever I say that and I look around, I barely find anything. Yeah. Nothing's jumping out at me. Which is probably a good thing, in this context. Right, so back to the... back to the lab. Yeah, I think we got to, really. Let's see how this works. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> it's quite awkward to navigate sometimes. You're not always facing the way you think you're meant to be facing. Was it... Okay, there's the Bunsen burners over there, so the test tubes, I think, go here? That's looking promising, and there's more test tubes over here, so yeah. And that little bug. Got ya. Right, 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 okay. Well, um... Let's put the test tubes down. Boom. Right. So... Put that in number one. Okay. And then... Oh, oh, no, uh... Put that in one, and then put that there. Okay, so it's orange, which is somewhat acidic according to this thing. Okay, wait, so hang on, let me just dose two as well. Ah, uh, there's not any change. Did I do that wrong? Or maybe it's just right in the middle. We've got a load of strips. I can do this a few times, it seems. Uh, yeah, I, I should be making a note of this, I suppose, right? So, soil one, low acidity. Uh, yeah, low acidity, I suppose, is correct. I guess soil two, neutral, because there's no change. Soil three, let's see. Okay. 
Okay, so that's blue, so that's low alkaline. Okay, four, five, and six to go. Bloody hell, reduced to doing schoolwork in this game. <laughs> Orange again, so again, at low acidity. Uh huh, okay. Number five shows red, so it's very, very acidic. High acidity. And finally, no! That didn't ruin all my progress, did it? Oh, God. <laughs> really had a panic attack then. Six. Six is what? Six is purple, so that's high alkaline. So, high alkaline. Low acidity, neutral, low alkaline, low acidity, high acidity, high alkaline. Right. Nothing happened, like... Something usually happens, maybe I'd get like a call over the radio, or Mr. Harding would be like, good job there. But nothing. So maybe I got that wrong? What did he say? Let's, I, let's go back to the board. Maybe I, I just need to go back and then stage two will follow, right? No? Someone here. Is that Bear? Bear? Where you been? Mm. Is he in here? I don't think so. Maybe he's hiding out by the van. He hasn't collected his equipment. Anyway, right, yeah, uh, so... Right, yeah, let me just... See this properly. Mark your findings in the exercise book. Oh, you gotta return your... Okay. Uh, we've got some books there. Yes! What is it? I did it, sir. Sorry, uh, I didn't mean to snap. It, it's my head. My, uh... Allergies. Oh. I just need to concentrate. I bet. Oh, it's, do I just place the book down? If I'm gonna do that, let's do this without that. Yeah? You finished already? I think so. Excellent. Hey! Marks. Great! We'll make a great young farm out of you yet. Oh, I don't know about that, to be honest. I think I'm a far better ghost hunter. Right. Okay. Are we time traveling again? Oh, shit, we are. Right. Children, listen up. Is this what happened to Bear? Quiet, please. You must now plant the seeds in the correct soil. Oh, boy. Some like acid soil, others prefer alkaline. Got you. Refer to your previous notes to finish the task. Okay. All right. Well, this this will be stage two then, and maybe what I do here will affect the future. I well probably try to identify the seeds and plant them in the correct soil. Right. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay. Um, uh, back away from this, I suppose. So, we need to have a look at these little diagrams, which are fairly detailed, I suppose. Pointed ovals, turn it... Uh, yeah, okay. Um, I assume basil and onion, or basil and onion? Not really sure. Let's take a look. Uh, no. It kind of looks like that one. I, I'm going to say that's basil unless this... Uh, that looks kind of similar too, to be perfectly honest. Okay, let's let's assume basil. Okay, so is that saved? 
Oh, it, okay, it is. It is. So this one, I guess, has been... This one's carrots? I don't know. Is that right? What do carrots look like? Carrots these look like that, apparently. Could be carrots, honestly. Okay, so basil, carrots. I guess this would probably be onion, then. Uh... Onion? Okay. So, three down, three to go, I guess. What is that? Wood heather, peat heather, and turnip. Turnip and peat heather look very, very similar. Maybe wood heather? Yeah, that could be either or, I think. Hmm, okay. Wood heather. And then, let's see, what are we missing? Peat heather and turnip, I suppose. Uh, let's assume this is peat heather. And this is turnip. Or this is peat heather. And that's turnip. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> Alright, thanks. I'm glad I got something like you that. certainly know your onions from your turnips. Cheers. Alright, so this has actually changed up now. Now it's mentioning if it likes high acidity, high alkaline, or whatever. Uh, right, do, I, do I have the book back? Where's the book? I got the book. Okay, so... That's fine. We can't alter these, so I can't fuck this up. So we're looking for... Soil 1, soil 4, both got low acidity... Okay. Let me work this out. Let me just note this down, and then we should be able to plant these. Okay, so... We're just grabbing these? Yes, we are. Just handfuls of them. Fair enough. Okay, well, um, let's just go... from number 1 all the way to number 6, shall we? So, over here... Number one, this is low acidities, and there's a couple of potentials, I guess. According to this, wood heather could go there, and maybe carrot seeds. Wood heather. Okay, do we need to water it or something? Or oh, maybe that's it. Uh, hang on, I do see a... I see a spade. Interesting. Let me just back away. Can I maybe turn or, or till the soil a little bit with that? No, no I can't. Never mind. Okay, well, I've got a spade now. That's great. Maybe I can bring that into the future. Number two. Back here. Oh, look at that. That's going to take us back and forth through time, I believe. Number two. Okay. Two, that was the, that was the neutral one. Um... Onion? Onion, onion. Okay, onion, apparently. Nice. Three. Low alkaline. So, low alkaline, that's best suited for turnip. So, maybe when I go back, there'll be some turnips growing there? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, four, five, and six. So, four. Well, I guess... Carrots... Five. High acidity, so that's best suited to the uh, the peat heather. And then finally the how the high alkaline. And the uh, the basil seeds. Over here. Okay. Did I get top marks? Did I get any marks? <laughs> There's still nothing down here. Why do we keep looking at the screen? Maybe there'll be something down here at some point. I guess I could just put some more seeds in. Right, my children, it is time for supper. Is it? I shall join you later. I'm not looking for ghosts. <laughs> I have work to do here. Tonight. Sure you do. Sure now you go do. before the goulash gets cold. Ah, oh, okay.
Okay. To be honest, there were still some things that I didn't really take a look at. Tonight's, Tonight's the night. The night. I shall I lure her forth. What in the hell? Poetry, roses, and music. Okay. We've gone forward in time, but not by much. What in the hell is going on? I don't suppose we can leave. No, we can't. But we could potentially go back, I think. Look at this. A silver ring? Too much? Too soon? What? What is going on? A silly fancy. It was a mistake. I'm much too forward of me. <laughs> Who's this for? Shall I compare thee to a summer's eve? Lady of the Rose Garden, you beckon. Lady of Wolfenden, her face so sad. The Dark Falls real, a being, a creature. It feeds, it always needs to feed. The Dark Fall needs seven souls to play. This is very strange. And it's not just the three P curly whirly. Alright, back away, back away. Okay. So things are actually they're actually growing. So I guess I got it right. Good. Let's see how this was number two, right? So this should be onions? Yeah. Oh I've got onions. I'm gonna bring onions into the future. Three, what was three? Uh, three's over there. Turnips? Okay, so I want onions, but I don't want turnips. Odd. Uh, okay. Over here. Maybe there's finally something down Wait, here. She a, a poetic opportunity of word, petal, and water. Maybe I could use those scissors on the, uh, on the flowers, on the roses, or on some of the plants around here. Carrots? Fine produce for the school dinner. If you say so. Okay. Can't take any of that. That'll be the uh, the heather. And then six was over here. And six. Basil? Something for the kitchen. Matron will be pleased. So I can take some of it, yeah? Apparently I can. Okay, we'll be doing some cooking a little bit later on, I suppose. Maybe using that bowl as well. God, look at how many items I've got. It's outrageous at this point. Oh, there's that... Yeah, and there's that book again. Shall I compare thee to a... Summer's Eve? When all of nature takes time to breathe? Oh my god. Ah... Uh, Well, that's what's scribbled out. Maybe you want some alternative that isn't that. Maybe he's looking to improve his poetry. Or maybe not, I'm not sure. When the night falls upon thy bloom, the golden star, I think, shines in the gloom. The water reflects, is that a thing? Yep. Reflects an Azurian glow. Some unseen something? Bounty? Beauty. Beauty from the depths below. And then the fire, petals of amber flame. Light in darkness? That feeds on your name. I fear I step ever closer? Is that a thing? Yep. To a silent conclusion. And crimson stain. Right. Why was that scribbled out? Is that good? I don't know. <laughs> I didn't make any improvements. Oh, okay. Well, I, I just... I used Tipex, essentially. Uh, yeah. Great. Okay. This is all very strange. We've got a camera set up here as well for a, for a ghost. You fell in love with a fucking ghost, didn't you? Man. Can I use... No, I can't use any of my equipment here. Something for the kitchen. 
Matron will. No, 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 no. I've, I've already taken some. Do I take some more? No, I don't take some more. Okay, we've got the music playing. A tune. Tune fit for my lady. An old favorite, perhaps. All right. Track three. Track four. We've got to set the right mood, you know. We've got to, we've got to get the right music. And then back to track one. I'm not really sure. I'm really not sure at the moment. Okay. Let me just... Let me just have a look. Can I confirm my suspicions that that symbol is how we go back and forth in time? Can I do that now? Okay. Right. Oh, and of course there's two, because there's like three versions of this. So if I use that one, that's going to get us back to the future. <laughs> the actual present. Yeah. Right. Right. Where we can actually leave. If we so choose. Maybe to do some cooking. Uh, okay. Uh, obviously there's still a couple of puzzles, like, with the music. Uh, and I need to find out exactly, you know, where these places in Saxton are. And then maybe I need to do some cooking or some digging. I need to complete the doll. There's quite a few things I should do. But that's going to wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching. See you then. With some operators reporting hallucinations and blackouts. Oh, wonderful. Something to look forward to. Join him in his... Nigel, are you feeling okay? Shut up, Nigel. Yeah, shut up, Nigel. <laughs> Maybe that's two. And then that's three. Hey, anyone? Maybe, yeah. Say again, over. Clear your fucking ears, mate. Oh, oh fuck. For fuck's sake, Steve. Pretty much, yeah. Hello, uh, yeah. Just a quick question. What the fuck do you want to know now? Have you tried leaving? Four, five, and six to go. Bloody hell, reduced to doing schoolwork in this game. <laughs> and finally, no! Finished already? I think so. Excellent. Hey! I'm gonna bring onions into the future. <laughs> That's gonna get us back to the future. <laughs>